G'day everyone, today I'm about four hours outside of Melbourne in the regional city of Portland to visit what is probably one of the most interesting light railways, or I guess tramways, that is in this country, the Portland Cable Trams. Portland, a town rich in maritime history with one of the deepest natural ports in Australia. Seeing a large amount of wood chips, steel and grain transported to and from here. Once boasting a large railway, although nowadays only a few trains a week visit this western port. Although Portland never had trams, in 2002 a small group of dedicated volunteers built something very special. A replica of a Melbourne cable tram. Now without going into too much detail, as I do want to leave that for another video, Melbourne is famous for its trams. And before the iconic electric trams that we know today, there was a multitude of cable tramways that ran from 1885 to 1940. This three and a half kilometer line runs from the museum headquarters to the water tower in the west. The museum runs a mix of newly built cable tram replicas, as well as some original or reproduction covered dummy cars which are powered with diesel motors. As well, a cable car usually runs on, well, a cable and would require a cable house battery, which would be even more of a monumental operation. The line runs from a balloon loop near the museum, then through the town, passing the botanical gardens, then along the foreshore. Even utilizing some of the former railway alignments where the former Portland railway station and yard once were then up to the water tank and military museum, where an interesting movement does take place. Back when the tram first opened, the tram had a balloon loop, much like at the museum. But due to some issues with the land, to turn around, the tram now utilizes a wide junction. At the museum, which has free entry, you can find the home to three of the cable trams as well as their turntable and fuel point. Inside the museum, there's a great diorama of the former Portland Railway Station, which once ran right to the centre of the town, which also had a couple of spur lines out to the jetties. As well as that, there was also some larger G-scale models, plus some other interesting artefacts, and another cable car undergoing long-term restoration. If you are planning on visiting Portland and you want to ride the cable cars, it really doesn't matter too much when you decide to, as this does run 364 days a year and runs around four trips a day. With ticket pricing for an adult at $22, $20 for concession, and children five to six at 10 with children under five free. Or you can buy a family ticket, which is two adults and three children for $65. Now I spent a short weekend in Portland during July, which is in the middle of winter. And Portland is notoriously cold, but I did have a great time. Now to get to Portland, you've only got a couple of options, which is either car or bus or possibly by ship. But we actually happened to be there because Seymour Railway Heritage Centre happened to run a passenger train there for the first time in 23 years. So I will leave details for the Seymour Railway Heritage Centre as well. So if you are planning on a maybe a rail fan weekend out there, I'm sure that'll happen again as it was very well patronized. So there we go, that's the Portland Cable Trams. I just want to give a huge shout out to Ben and Joy for both giving me a lot of help with making this video. Now, I do highly suggest visiting this cable tramway or tramway if you are in the area and I will leave all the links in the description below as well as that you can just Google Portland Cable Trams to find out more information. But like I said, they operate seven days a week with four to five trips a day, depending on the season. So the chances are, if you come here, these trams will be running. Anyway, once again, thank you all so much for watching. If you have any feedback about the Portland Cable Trams or I guess any videos in general, please leave them in the comments below. Anyway, don't forget to be subscribed so you can keep up to date with all the videos that I do have coming out in the future. Anyway, once again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Hooroo.